Today on Design, Build, and Fix, the ultimate in DIY projects. That's right, granite countertop fabrication. In today's video, I'm going to show you the cost savings. We're also going to show you projects that I've done in the past just to prove that it is possible to do this on a limited budget and a limited amount of skills. In the future, in this series of videos, we're going to show you how you actually move the large granite slabs. We're going to show you how to install it, fabricate it, and the list goes on and on and on. All right, so if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, so the hardest part of doing a granite countertop is actually moving the slabs. Whether you grab a whole slab or you grab uh, a remnant from a fabricator, they're all gonna be pretty heavy. Now a full slab of granite is gonna, gonna be about 1,200 pounds. That's gonna be about a 10 foot piece by 10 foot by seven foot piece or about 1,200 pounds. If you get remnant pieces from a fabricator, you're still running into parts that it could be five, six, 700 pounds. And so the hardest part about doing a granite countertop is actually moving the granite. Now granite is relatively inexpensive, especially if you get into a category one or a category two type of granite. And those are relatively inexpensive. They don't usually have a lot of veining to it. Um, it's an entry level type of granite and that's what I'm a big fan of. I, I like the entry level stuff. It's relatively inexpensive. It's actually gonna be a little less expensive than your Corian or your solid surface, but the cost is driven up when it comes time to actually move in the slabs because you have to have some specialized pieces of equipment in order to move slabs that are that heavy. All right, so I decided to get into granite countertop fabrication a few years back because I used to do a lot of solid surface countertop for people and uh, I was losing a few jobs here and there because they wanted to go with granite. So I said, all right, well, I'll figure out if I can actually do granite. And uh, after I found out and realized that granite was relatively inexpensive, I realized, wow, I could make a little bit of money here. So I dove right into the granite fabrication. So let's show you some of those jobs that I actually got into. So the first granite countertops that I did was uh, for my house. And uh, I really didn't need a whole slab. I went and grabbed a, uh, uh, a remnant from a local fabricator. Um, it was only about 30 inches wide by about 10 feet long. Uh, they did charge me, it was about 1200 bucks. Considerably more expensive because what's gonna happen is a fabricator uh, basically is going to double their cost, so to speak. So uh, I know for a fact they could probably buy it for considerably less than the 1200 that I paid for it. But the moral of that story was is that they wanted $2,500 for them to fabricate it and for me to install it. So I, I, was, I was glad to pay the $1,200. Now, it went into the computer nook. Uh, as you can see there, that is black pearl. And I did a 3 8 inch radius round over on it. And then the other section there is for a, a set of built-ins that I did that's, that flank my wood-burning fireplace. Uh, the cabinetry is made out of cherry, and I really wanted to counter that reddish tone uh, with a darker countertop, and so we used the black pearl. And there's a piece on the right-hand side here, and the piece that's on the left-hand side, again, I did the 3 8 round over radius. All right, so now that I had my first granite countertop uh, fabricated and installed, and I realized that it is a doable process for me, I moved on to the next job, and that has to do with the SketchUp drawing that we have here. Unfortunately, I don't have any video or pictures of the finished job, uh, but the cabinet came out absolutely beautiful. The, it was a library. We made them out of Sapili. The countertop was also uh, black pearl. And in this situation, I actually grabbed a whole slab. Now, let's talk a little bit about the ability to grab a whole slab and the ability to, to buy remnants. Uh, if you actually go to a granite supplier, they probably won't sell it to you. They wouldn't sell it to me at first. And so what I had to do is I actually had to buy the slab or the remnants from a fabricator. And typically what happens is 
you know, I ordered it from the fabricator, they call the supplier, the supplier brings it to them, they offload it on from their truck into their warehouse, and then I pick it up. And uh, they usually cost about twice as much as it does at another place. So, this first slab I paid for is about $1,400 for that granite slab. I grabbed it and brought it back to my house and fabricated it. It came out extremely nice. Uh, I did have to do a seam on the far right hand side of it, which was kind of tricky for me because I hadn't done a seam yet, but uh, it came out really pretty good. And uh, in the series of videos that we're going to show you is uh, we will show you how to do a seam properly also. So I was glad to actually pay the $1,400 for the full slab of granite because uh, I did get that priced out through another fabricator as to what it would cost to do this this job and it was like $3,500. So about a $2,000 savings there and it didn't take very long for me to fabricate that countertop. It only took me about two or three days. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of time and I saved, uh, you know, 2,000 bucks. So that was a good deal. All right, so now that I've had uh, two successful uh, granite countertop installations and fabrications, I moved on to the next really big project that I, I did. And uh, what I did is, uh, I built a, a high-end luxury two-unit apartment house and I did granite countertops for them. I put granite not only in the kitchen, I did it in the laundry room and I did it in the bathroom also. And it was a, a duplex so I had to do it twice. Uh, I did pick up three slabs of tan brown and uh, basically the cost was about $2,400 for the granite and for another company to fabricate that was over $13,000. So I looked at it and said, yep, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a try because the first slab that I did where the kitchen sink is, that was a relatively big one. And so that had some challenges, but it came out actually beautiful. Um, the kitchen uh, is rel was relatively easy because it had just the one piece for the kitchen, then it had another L shape over there on the left-hand side by the refrigerator. Uh, that came out really easily to install on that one too. When it came time for the laundry room, that was a little bit more trickier just because um, it had the uh, uh, two walls to get through and it was a smaller space, but that came out beautiful also. And then the, the bathroom where we had an undermount sink in there, we also had an undermount sink in the kitchen, uh, but the undermount in the bathroom was also there too. So uh, I actually had to do that twice. So it was well worth my time and effort uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember how long it actually took me to do that. It didn't take that long. I think it took me about a week to do the countertop for one unit and actually get it installed. And then I did it over again. Probably took me a little bit less than a week for the second one because I had already completed it at one point. And so I did grab three slabs. Now I got lucky on this one because you can actually have your granite fabricator that you're buying the slabs from. Uh, sometimes they'll do it, sometimes they won't, sometimes it'll cost a little bit more money. Uh, but they actually offered to do this, that I gave them my drawings of the size of the pieces I needed it cut into, rough cut. And they actually put the granite slabs on their bridge saw and just cut them to rough size. And uh, it was relatively easy because I didn't have to borrow my buddy's excavator to unload it off my trailer. I didn't have my A-frame at that point as far as the gantry crane to get it off. We're gonna, so you'll see that here in a video coming up shortly on how I get full slabs off of my landscape trailer. Uh, but I didn't have to do that because they cut them into the manageable pieces and all I had to do is lift the couple hundred pound slabs to get them fabricated. Uh, and so the kitchen, the kitchen job, the laundry, and the vanity uh, came out absolutely beautiful. It was tan brown and uh, it was a little over a $10,000 saving. So there is a lot of money to be saved if you're willing to put the time and effort in to uh, get these granite jobs done. So after a couple of very successful granite countertop installations, uh, a friend of mine his son was actually putting in, uh, or wanted to do granite countertops in a house that he was remodeling. He wanted to know if I was interested in, in doing it. And I said, sure, I'd be interested in doing it. He got a price of $5,300 to have these granite countertops um, fabricated and installed. And I did it for considerably less. Um, and it came out actually beautiful. Uh, it has, you can see it has the long run on the far right hand side. And then another piece over by the, the refrigerator. Uh, and then there's the, the breakfast nook area. 
uh, came out extremely well. There's only one seam in that whole spot, and that's on the far left-hand side. Um, and uh, it came out extremely nice. So a friend of mine wanted to wanted me to redo his kitchen, and I did. And that's coming up here at some point here in another video on uh, a whole kitchen remodel. But he wanted granite countertops in uh, his kitchen, and I said, yeah, we'd be interested in doing that. Uh, his countertops were a little more straightforward. He did have a long, long run with an L, and then a piece off to the left by the, by the stove, and then there's a piece off to the right by the refrigerator. Those are the relatively easy parts, the two smaller pieces. Those are easier, easier parts, but then when you get into the long runs and you have an L shape to it, uh, you do have to put a seam in there, and I did put a seam in there, and uh, that seam came out extremely good. Uh, I have a product that I will share with you uh, that helps you get these seams done flawlessly, so to speak. And uh, we did do an undermount sink, um, which came out very nice. And uh, I think the kitchen with the backsplash uh, is actually beautiful. Now the cost of him getting that countertop fabricated was almost $6,000, which is a lot of money. And I did it for considerably less He's a friend of mine, and so I have no problem with that. Uh, but honestly, if you're willing to put in the time and the effort and think it through, uh, you can actually save a lot of money on granite countertop fabrications. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'm glad I could share with you the cost savings on fabricating your own granite countertops and share with you some jobs that I've done in the past. Um, I'm excited about sharing the process with you. Uh, so come back. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like the content. We're going to show you how to move the large granite slabs. We're going to show you how to fabricate them, how to install them, how to do a seam, and uh, a whole bunch more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.